understand with little thinking that in this body I am, even in this life, at night I get another body. I dream, I dream there is a tiger, I go to the forest and there is a tiger and it is coming to kill me, then I am crying, naturally I am crying. Or in other ways, I have gone to some beloved uh, man or woman, we are embracing, but the bodily action is going on. Otherwise, why I am crying? And why there is discharge of semina? So, people do not know that I am leaving this gross body, but I am entering into this subtle body. Subtle body is there, not question of insight. We are packed up. Just like this body is packed up with heart and coat. So, the coat is the gross body and the Heart is the subtle body. So when this gross body is resting, the subtle body is working. The foolish man, they cannot understand that I am compact in some body, either subtle body or gross body. One who is too sinful, very much sinful, he does not get the gross body, he remains in the subtle body and that is called ghost. We have heart, some of you might have seen, that is ghost. Ghost means he doesn't get, he is so simple that he is condemned to remain in the subtle body. He does not get the gross body. Therefore, according to Vedic system, there is sadha ceremony. If the father or relative has not gotten the gross body, by that ceremony he is allowed to accept a gross body. That is Vedic system. So anyway, we can understand that I am sometimes in this broad body and I am sometimes in the subtle body. So I am there, either in the gross body or on the subtle body. So I am eternal. But when I work with the subtle body, I forget this gross body. And when I work with this gross body, I forget the subtle body. So either I accept the gross body or subtle body, I am eternal. I am eternal. Now the problem is how to avoid this gross body and subtle body. That is problem. That means when you remain in your original body, in spiritual body, and do not come to this gross or subtle body, and that is your eternal life. That is, we have to achieve. This human life is a gift by the nature or by God. Now you realize that you are changing your different condition, distress and happiness, being a force to accept some kind of gross and subtle body. That is the cause of your pain and pleasure. And if you get out of this gross and subtle body, remain in your original spiritual body, then you are free from this pain and pain. That is called mukti. Mukti, there is a Sanskrit word. Mukti means liberation. No more gross body, no more subtle body. But remain in your own original spiritual body. This is called mukti. Mukti means it is the sky in the Bhagavatam, mukti hitva anathārūpam sarūpena avasthiti. That is called mukti. Anathārūpam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare 